when Natiza was invented, Terra Data said, well, you know, it's a new technology. Let's take a look at it. And they go, ooh, they distribute on a random distribution? That's pretty clever because they're going to get even distribution. So Terra Data has come up with a no primary index. You actually have to say, I want no primary index, as you can see in our example here. And there will be no primary index, but the data will be laid out, distributed perfectly every time. Here's our no primary index table, but when we query it, it's going to do a full table scan because we don't have a primary index. That's the penalty you pay. So hardly anybody ever does a no PI table. That's what it's called, no PI table, because it's got no primary index. So the no PI table is usually used for staging, where they go, we're going to load from the mainframe to the no PI table, data spread evenly, load goes really fast, and then we'll do insert selection to the real table. Or Teradata is also using the no PI in their columnar design, which we'll see in a later video. Just remember, we got OOPI, NUPI. I can have a multi-column OOPI or NUPI, or I can have a no primary index. And those are your options on your Teradata primary index choices. I've got your choices right here. Our first example has a unique primary index. We can't put a duplicate employee number in that table. It kicks it out. Data spread perfectly even. Single amp retrieve when you use that in the where clause. Our next example is the non-unique primary index. It just doesn't say unique, so it's always a non-unique primary index. It's going to spread the data non-evenly because all like values for that department number are going to the same amp. In our third example, we got a multi-column, primary index, first name, last name. Is it unique or non-unique? It's a non-unique multi-column primary index. We're going to have to use both first name and last name in our SQL. If we don't, it's going to be a full table scan. If we do, single amp retrieve. And of course, we got, what's it called? You know it. What's its nickname? No PI table, because it's got no primary index. Take a look at these two examples. The first one, we forgot to put the primary index on. In the second one, we've got a no primary index, no PI table. Listen, if you forget the primary index, Teradata will generally, not every time, there's a few caveats, I'll explain in later videos, but 99% of the time, if you forget the primary index, it's going to pick the first column in the table and make it a non-unique primary index. So let's not get sloppy. Always put the primary index choice that you want. Don't let it default.